box from across the pond. It's got declaration in it. Of course, you already know what's inside. It's another Nixie clock. Let's open it up and check it out. So this is another kit form. That might mean long duration video. Nobody will watch. Two minutes at most. <laughs> What do we got? Ooh, this is interesting. We got the full manifest of all the bits. Oh, that's cool. Every single bit that's on here. That is so cool. Oh, it's even got a circuit diagram. Ooh. So this is the uh, Nixie Clock Shield IN-14. So this is a Nixie Clock for IN-14 type tubes. Very cool. And it's in a protective sleeve. Wow, that's cool. So, <clears throat> I'm no stranger to uh, this particular brand of Nixie Clocks because I had a video way, way back in the archives of the 82 IN18 uh, Nixie Clock. Of course, they call it a uh, Deverance emitter. So uh, that one's got eight tubes and it's IN18s. And I'm glad I bought it when I did because the uh, the price of iron 18s is ridiculous now. So I think there's just a bunch of kits out there or a high demand for them things because uh, they're getting stupid. Because if you don't know what an iron 18 is, it's this little guy here. So he's uh, not the biggest of the Nixies. I think the uh, Z something blah, blah, blah. Whatever the big double bar Farney is based off of, I think it's just a little bit tinier than a double bar, but it's, uh, let's say, third uh, biggest. So this little guy, he is run off a uh, Arduino, and he is run off a Uno. So that's got all the... Uh, Leave all the timekeeping in it. I am not. I'm not sure. I never really dealt with one of these Arduino shield clocks. Of course, I don't know what I'm doing with Arduino anyway. I can barely uh, keep my uh, internet info globe going with the uh, Arduino board in here. So this is the Uno. He's got all the little bits and pieces on there to. Uh, I believe power the board. I believe power the clock. So that's awesome. I guess you can screw to the. Uh, I think it comes with a default code on there to run the clock, and then if you want to screw with it to make it something cooler, then you can. And then we got all the. Bags of bits. We got that. We got the wall wart. 
It even comes with the right plug. Standard wall wart, he is, should be 12 volts at an amp. Okay, so common wall wart. Doesn't fall on the floor, other than styrofoam bits. Squares. So this guy should come with tubes. I hope. Maybe it's in that little packet. We got more bits in there. That's, I believe, for the case. So they believe that's all that. We'll save the box up because I might be needing that later for storage. Because not all the kits I have are in use because I just have no room for them. But I want them because they're vintage and they're old and people are making kits for them and they're buying up the tubes and you won't be able to find them and probably within my lifetime there probably won't be a single new old stock Nixie tube available other than uh, Delabores and uh, uh, the other Nixie factory there that makes Nixie tubes. So check out the uh, case here. Wait, this is the acrylic case. You have to put it together because it's a kit and that's what you do with kits. You put them together. Yep. Looks like feet. Got some hardware. Got lots and lots of spacers. They need to have the uh, protective film peel off them. Then we got this guy, and this guy is the definitely the case for it. So as we can see, it is a one, two, three, four, five, six tuber with two uh, flashy things. And we got some uh, overseas soot. That's fantastic. Look at that. It smells like smoke. It's probably uh, nuclear fallout. It says, remove protective film before assembling the protective, uh, to protect the acrylic parts from damage and scratches. The protective film has not been removed. Okay. And we're already dropping bits. Okay. Got a couple of side pieces. So that says... 12 volts DC, 1 amp power... Power source required, blah, blah, blah. And this is the uh, high voltage adjust and the temperature sensor. So this does have, I did opt, this board has temperature sensing in it, but I opted not to get the uh, temperature probe because I... Uh, I have that here already in bags. I got the uh, three millimeter jacks and the uh, temperature probes. Wipe off the soot. Nasty. I believe this one come from, if I remember right, I think these come from Russia. These particular kits. Where do you come from? Oh, 
Oh, it comes from Ukraine. Okay. Maybe that describes why it's got soot on it. <laughs> I may have saved the Nixie clock from, you know, ultimate destruction because of all that bull crap that's going on in Ukraine and all that other silly crap. So, we saved the Nixie clock from Ukraine. The U Ukraine conflict. Could be very well that, you know, hopefully we'll say that something happened inside the factory and it didn't get blown up. <laughs> So we'll save all them little bits and pieces because uh, right now I don't have the time to build these. Take a look at that little bit. And we got all the little bits, all the little bits and pieces. This is a combination of surface mount and through hole construction. So we got a bunch of little bits in here. So we got resistors in here. And we got some 10K kilo ohm trim pots. Then we got some other resistors in here. We got 24 kilo ohms and 150 ohms and 0.1 ohms and 1 kilo ohms and 24 kilo ohms. We got 1.5 mega ohms. And all these guys are 805s, so 0805, so uh, not necessarily to have a microscope to uh, put this kit together, but it sure will help for video purposes. Then we got all the ICs. So this is all surface mount ICs. Uh, they have to be soldered to the board. So all the different chips for the controlling of the Nixies and the time keep keeping. We got an IR receiver in here. And probably high voltage, some of the high voltage stuff for the uh, for the Nixie tubes. Miscellaneous hardware, uh, header pins. Got some more stuff in there. And then in this bag, we got all the jacks. Uh, backup battery. A couple of inductors. Push buttons. Keep alive battery holder. And a little battery itself. We got a surface mount buzzer. That's interesting. I've never seen a surface mount buzzer. I've seen the through holes. Lots of through holes in my kits that I ever built. This is my first surface mount buzzer. That's interesting. Fascinating. Got some more surface mount. This is all the caps. What else we got in here? Capacitors. Crap capacitors. Kits and electronics are only good as your crap capacitors. 0805, so that's good. Got 220 microfarad. 100 microfarads. 10 microfarads. We got some little guys and little tiny pouches that are hidden. We've got in here diodes. We've got all kinds of surface mount diodes, LEDs, and regular, uh, regular er uh, everyday uh, diodes. Got a red LED in a 1206 package. That's nice. Big honking red LED. 
Then we got some neon neons. These are the uh, decimal point and the uh, colons and the flashing part. So two neons per column. And then we got all the uh, Nixie sockets in that bag. Put all that stuff back in the bag. I'll have to get some uh, of them capacitor books and maybe some random diode books and little books and uh, resistor books, they call them. Diode books and capacitor books. You probably see them all. They all are on Amazon or on eBay. They got every single resistor that you can think of. That you would ever probably need. And these are 0603s. So I would have to get some uh, 0805s and uh, in capacitors and stuff like that. They're not much money. And they're kind of handy to have. Uh, you just have to... Sometimes you have to... With them books, sometimes you have to uh, measure before you actually install a resistor. Because sometimes... We don't know what kind of quality is in them kind of resistor books, but they're fairly good from what little bit I have used them. I haven't ha had any resistors that says, uh, if it's a 10, 10 ohm, that says it's uh, 32. Look at this, and here is the uh, columns. Looks like columns. So I know the one seller that I used to, that I bought a lot of Nixie clocks and BFD clocks. He he dropped off the face of the world. I don't know because he's got a uh, away message that he's away until 2032. So he's right in the middle of one of them conflicts. But the uh, Gra and the Fitch here is still in business and still shipping stuff. So these are the columns. These are very nice columns. I love how these columns look on the Nixie clock. I'll have to bring my 8 tube down here. It's only on top of there. I'll have to bring them down. It's a very nice clock. So that's the column. I don't believe there's anything else in there. Don't need that. We'll put him in the bag. We'll take a look at the uh, PCB. PCB's got some standoffs with him. That's pretty cool. All wrapped up in tape too. That's annoying. Very nice board. Very nice board. I like that board. Super nice. So these are the standoffs between that go in between this board and this board. Because this guy, I believe he stands up like this on the board. So wherever, let's see, where's the headers? They're on this side. So let's see. Super long headers on that side. I believe he goes like this. Of course, he'll have some standoffs. Because this will power the board. This Uno and the board. 
these are the uh, standoffs for the board. Two different boards. We've got some short standoffs, some medium standoffs. So we'll get rid of that disaster. And we'll put this in there. And we'll put the Uno. I believe there is some program on here. I really don't know. Put that back in the bag. Put this back in the bag. And I guess the final thing here, I believe it's the Nixie tubes. We'll have to uh, pry out. I think this knife is dull. Very dull knife. So we'll get a new knife out. Usually what I do with the uh, old knives is I'll, I'll get a bunch of them together and then I'll just wrap them up in uh, a couple of layers of tape and stuff like that and then throw them in the garbage. And these are the wonderful Nixie tubes. Very nice. So these are the IN14s. This one is from 1976. This one is from 1975. This one's a 76. This one's a 75. And these are new old stock, so they are a little grungy. This one doesn't have any printing. It's been all rubbed off. And this one is 74. So all of these tubes are older than I am. By uh, two years. One of them is uh, one year older than I am. And then three years older than I am. So anywhere from one to three years older than I am. And these are all uh, wire. These are the wire jobs. So you got to straighten the wires up. Stick them in the notches and all that other good stuff. So that is cool. So we'll have a nice little build series on these guys. So that takes care of that. And just to make the video longer and bore everybody to death, because I can do that kind. I'll get my uh, other gra in a fitch, or however it's pronounced. This is the uh, this is the eight tuber. Same construction, and this was already pre-built. I didn't have to build this one. Just uh, put the tubes in because I bought it without the tubes. Boy, that was a small fortune. 
And I'm so glad I did it when I did because now these things are so crazy expensive. So this is the same tube. You might as well just say almost the same as the, uh, the kit there. Here's the uh, temperature probe. What I'll be building for that one. And this is the eight tuber, and this is this is what the uh, uh, columns look like when they're assembled. They got the two uh, neons that are in there. They're very cool. And this guy just plugs in. Now, I haven't run this in a long time, so I don't know if the battery's good or not. So I'll we'll plug Yana over here. And uh, we'll plug this guy in. Let's see if he works. Oh, the tube's still light. That's cool. So the... Uh, Backup battery is dead for this little guy, but that's fine. So I'll stick him over here. I gotta stick something behind it. We'll turn some lights off so you can see him better. There he is. So you can see that uh, these two over here, they just go nuts. And then you got the, your regular hours, minutes, and seconds. And they all got that beautiful, wonderful Nixie type blue glow because of that little bit of uh, mercury that's in them to uh, make them glow. So that's very cool. He still works. So unfortunately, the battery is dead to keep the time. So he still works. So that's wonderful to know. So we'll plug in, uh, plug in Yana, and just to preserve the uh, any kind of weird leakage, we'll take uh, we'll take the battery out. So there's the battery. I do have these in stock. These little uh, 1220s. So we'll take him out so he don't leak on the board. And then we'll pack this back up and put him away in a safe spot. We'll tighten that up. Because maybe someday he'll have a home when I have a real house and I got somewhere to put that. But I don't have that kind and I may never have that kind so we'll put him away for awesomeness factor. Because uh, this, very, this very clock right here is actually on the uh, the very same uh, clock that I put on my uh, splash page on the um, channel's homepage is, is this very clock. So there. We got that clock. We're going to build that clock. So with that, that's the end of this video. And it's a good thing I did because the battery is almost dead because I don't have it plugged into uh, real power. So... We'll see you on the next video. And make sure you uh, subscribe and uh, all that other good stuff. And uh, if you don't already know, uh, you know, depending on when I post this, I do have a uh, Rumble. 
this channel is being synchronized on Rumble. So if you haven't uh, seen my videos, the exact same thing as on YouTube. And uh, uh, with Rumble, uh, you know, same thing over there. You know, it's always good to have a backup of the uh, YouTube channels. And uh, even on Rumble, uh, uh, all the videos are monetized. So, you know, if uh, some by grace of some wonderful people that over a thousand people watch and I might make it a half a penny. So, uh, of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And then uh, if you want to follow me over on Rumble, you can do the same over there. So we'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.